A blood cancer diagnosis occurs every three minutes in America, but progress is being made in the fields of research and treatment. Hematologist Dr. Elizabeth Buddy is here to explain lymphoma, follicular lymphoma. Tell us about the definition of that disease. Sure. Follicular lymphoma is a, the most common slow-growing lymphoma. It's a blood cancer that treats at City Hall Cancer Center. Follicular lymphoma is a type of uh, lymphoma that with abnormal immune cells that grow the uncontrolled. So and in United States each year, 16,000 patients are diagnosed with follicular lymphoma. On average, the age of diagnosis is 64. And so what is the current treatment and what is what progress is being made? Well, traditionally, follicular lymphoma are managed you know, by using chemotherapy regimens, different, different kinds of chemotherapy regimens. Most recently, an innovative immunotherapy called Lansomil was FDA approved in December 2022. It's manufactured by Genonta, who are we here with today. And this treatment has several benefits. So it's a, a chemotherapy-free treatment. It's a pure immunotherapy. You know, it's a bispecific T cell engager recruiting T cells to kill off the lymphoma cells. It's also a fixed duration treatment and is available readily off the shelf. Last but not the least, you know, this treatment is an outpatient treatment that does not require hospitalization. So in a clinical trial with 90 patients, 80% of them responded to the treatment. And however, serious side effects can also happen, such as cytokine release syndromes, which you know, requires a specialty care. And this treatment might not be right for every patient, so therefore it's important to have a good discussion with the oncologist. Well, my, that was my next question is, who of the patients qualify and how do you determine that? Yeah, so based on the patient prior his, you know, treatment history and based on their lymphoma you know, phenotype, whether they have the target on the lymphoma surface, then you determine whether this is the right treatment option for the patient. And is this something a patient or you're finding that patients are asking doctors about? Uh, yes, I think since it's uh, approval you know, end of 2022, more and more patients nowadays are aware of uh, immunotherapy, which is really nice you know, replacement as, I would say, a better treatment than you know, chemotherapy treatment, which is non-specific, non-targeted. And how is it delivered? It's delivered intravenously, so you get one dose you know, every three weeks, except the initial phase. The first, you know, first, first phase delivery is one dose every, every week for three weeks, but subsequently it's one dose every week. And so how are, you're liking the results and how are the people feeling when they're receiving this medication? People actually do quite well in general on this treatment. You know, with 90 patients on the clinical trial, you know, 80% of them responded to the treatment and 60% of them become cancer free. And majority of them do well. You know, some of them might have some side effects you know, which you know, they are management guidelines on how to offer this treatment. Uh, doctor, can you send our viewers to a website where they can learn more? Of course, yeah. I think the, uh, uh, the, the viewer can talk to their doctors, can also go to lansangmio.com, no, L-U-N-S-U-M-I-O.com to get more information on the drug, the treatment, complication, and also the details of clinical trial experience. Thank you so much for all this important information.